¿Piensas que es la misma persona? Ajá. Uh -huh. And then maybe you can carry on a bit because you, you didn't read much, Kim. Yes. <laughs> Puede ser la, persos, per, la persona que robó los dibujos de la casa de Lorenzo Reyes. No sabía cuánto valen. Valen. Vale. And try that little V is kind of like a little B sound. Maybe you vale. want to be huh? Perfecto. Mm. Son muy valistos. So let me, let me, yeah, let me help you with this, Kim. So it's going to be that valiosos. Valiosos. You got it. You nailed it. Yeah. Son muy valiosos, pero mm -hmm. vendió los Perfecto. dibujos por poco dinero. Perfecto. Pero luego. Or luego. Lo, so here's luego. the L sound. Luego. Luego. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Luego al oer o, mm -hmm. al oer so, so, sobre el robo en TV. Sí. Des, descubrió, descubrió el precio real y vol, volvió a robar los dibujos. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. También puede haber un segundo ladrón. Eh, sí. Claro. Al alguien. Al yes, that was, that was much better. You got it. Claro. Alguien que yeah, you got it now. nos oyó en la tienda. Perfecto. Alguien como uh, ese mister misterioso hombre del sombrero. Perfecto. Ok, so vamos a ver uh, todas esas cosas y qué es la significación, ¿no? No. So we're going to look at the, what it means. Okay. Vamos a ver la significación, ¿no? Ok. Sí. Ok, so here, vamos a ver. Cam, camerero, ¿eh? that's how you say waiter. So sí. it says, buen día, ¿qué le, ser, qué le serví? Sirvo, sorry. Uh, <laughs> So you will say, I'm so sorry, I need to put that clear for you. You will say, que les sirvo. Que les sirvo. Uh -huh. que les sirvo. So what can I serve you? Exactly. Uh -huh. And then, Nuria, buen día. Yo quiero un café con leche. You want a coffee with milk. Perfect. And then, Alicia, yo quiero unos churros con chocolate, por favor. Uh, chocolate. I want a chocolate churro, please. Yes, and do, do you remember where you have to go in Barcelona for that? Uh, yeah, I wrote it down. <laughs> café, so it's Café de l'Opéra, and it's on the, the La Rambla. That's where, you know, it, it's like the promenade, it's the biggest avenue. The There's promenade. all the restaurants, huh? so Café de l'Opéra. Yes. Es, es el mejor churro, because the Mexican, they have that, but that comes from a Sp the Spanish tradition. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yes, huh? definitely have to do churros. Bottom. Claro. Sí, ¿eh? ok. Y camarero, perfecto, enseguida traigo todo. Perfecto, enseguida traigo todo. That is... In a, in a dash, chief, yeah. you know, in a moment, I'm going to bring you all. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, yes, I'll bring... So I'll bring you it... In, okay, I'll bring, it, mean, I'll bring it in a moment. In, in a, a moment. moment. Eh? And todo means ojo, all, everything. Oh, I'll bring everything. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nuria, bien. ¿Qué piensas del caso? ¿Qué piensas del caso? Uh, what's caso? Hello. This is a case because right, they're investigating. There's the robber. Mm. That's what it, the word for a case. Got it. So, um, what's going on with the case? That perfect. And Alicia, mm, hay dos robos. Mm. There are two robbers. Uh -huh. Ayer alguien robó los dibujos de la casa de Lorenzo Reyes. Ayer is yesterday. Perfect. Yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Uh, what does alguien mean? Alguien means someone. 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 Yeah. Someone robbed the drawings um, from uh, Lorenzo Reyes' house today or at night. Perfecto. Alguien los robó de la tienda de Rodolfo García. Some, Someone robbed the house of Rodolfo. Uh, the store. The store of Rodolfo García. Yes. 
Ajá, en el Nuria, ¿piensas que es la misma persona? Misma persona, a misma means the same. The same, the same. Okay. Oh, do we think it's the same person? Do we person? think it's the same person? Yeah, that did the two because now there's two uh, robberies, right? Oh, yes. so they, that's interesting. Yeah, there's two so robberies. they robbed it, they sold it to the store, then they robbed it again. Yeah, they, they robbed two different places. The home of Lorenzo Reyes and Rodolfo Garcia is shop. Yeah. Yeah. So they're wondering if the, the two robberies are linked. They're linked. Mm. Um, the way that Nuria said, piensas K. Yeah, do you think? Okay, so that's do you think. And then also that's the same as like, creer K. Exactly. You can use creo que o piensa. I feel like the shop owner is more suspicioso. You will <laughs> I mean, Rodolfo Garcia. Rodolfo Garcia, muy suspicioso. Sí. <laughs> claro. <laughs> no buena onda. No buena onda. The Mexican was saying. No buena onda. No buena onda. No buena onda huh? Not good vibes. No. no <laughs> okay. And then Nuria. Huh? So piensas que. So what you were saying, Kim, like you can say yo pienso. Like I think, or your creo, as you said, right? Okay. And then if you ask somebody, you know, what do you think, or do you think, then it will be, you know, crees tu. Okay. Uh, crees tu, or. Okay. So then you can also say que piensas, and that's like what's going on. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Huh? So, and then what happened here? Alicia, what she says, puede ser. <laughs> puede ser. Um, it's kind of like a colloquial saying, yeah, psh, that could be. That can it be, can it be, yeah, it could be. That can be, huh? you're right, the yeah. present. Um, the person that robbed the drawings um, in Lore Lorenzo Reyes's house. No sabía cuánto valen. Uh, uh, I so don't know. Right I, don't I don't know how men, cuánto. cuánto so. Many. Yeah, quanto means you know quanto. If you want to ask in you know, a shop, oh, quanto costas? Like quanto how, costa? much, how much? How much does it cost, right? Yeah. So here, that's going to be okay. No sabia. That comes from the verb saber, which is to okay. know. So, so how how much, oh, how much it's worth? That's oh, it. Worth. Okay. That's it, yeah. right? We don't oh, well, here it is to be worth that's valer to be worth it says here. to be worse and valen is, is the value right to be worse we'll yes I'll do it yeah let's do it later okay and then so muy valiosos huh? um so they're they're very valuable yes um, but uh the drawings and you were sold right for Oh, that's Vendio sold. Yeah. Okay, but the drawings were sold for um little money. Little money, you got it. Yeah. Um and but... pero, luego al oír sobre el robo en Tebi, descubrió el precio real. What's luego? Later. So, later. But later. Oh, but later. Yeah, they use that a lot, Kenny. Yeah. yeah and, but... Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what oír means. Oír, that actually, so that's an expression, but if we're just going to look at the words, oír mean to uh, hear. To hear, okay. Hear. Uh, so the, basically, it's like they've heard the news, right, on TV about oh. El Robo, it's about the robbery. We heard the, the news, news about, about the robbery, robbery on TV. Uh, Describo, that's like Discover, we discover, discover, discover the El Precio Real. The, the, mm. So it's, it's like pre, El Precio is like the price. The price, okay. We discovered the, pri, the, the, the real, real price. price and Volvio. Volvio a robar los disbro. It's like, and then he we went back to steal the. And then he went back, okay. Uh -huh. Back to is... the drawings. Volver is to return as well. You, yeah, you volvo de Paris. Oh. Volver, return. Okay. So return back to the drawings. He discovered the, the prize, the real prize, and returned to to rob the drawings. Yes. And then Nuria también puede 
a ver un segundo ladrón. So, un ladrón is a robber. Uh, you know, like if you feel like you've been uh, robbed by somebody in Mexico, you can just say, que ladrón, no bueno. Que ladrón. <laughs> que ladrón. Que ladrón. Huh? Yeah, uh, you have to be careful because they always try to sell you more money, right? Are you careful with that when you travel? How do you handle that? <sighs> no, not very careful. I think. We've lately just been using credit cards yeah. for a lot, but it depends where you are, where the if the credit cards you can use. Yeah, good rate. We haven't been doing much cash lately, but but I yeah. We will when we go somewhere that needs needs it, I think. Yeah, you know what? You, the, my advice is when you travel, I always got some cash on me with the local money and not do dollars. Okay. Yeah. And then once you have the local money, you have access to cheaper prices. If yeah you, if you flash your dollars it's just like they they are you already like the it's by five ten fifteen dollar more but if you can help them and it's not a problem then it's great because they paid so little I, exactly that's why i kind of like always just more relaxed about it but this last um trip i did i was by myself and i did get taken advantage of a lot in that way so i learned my lesson right yes you can choose when or throw them extra cash if you want but it's better to have awareness yeah you have to be careful with that mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can have a target too especially if you travel on your own you know yes you flash your cards compared to like oh she doesn't have any much money so you're not a target right yes this with a little oh pobrecita she's got it <laughs> But then you know you have in the bag everything you need. They don't need to know, you know. Uh huh. Oh yeah. By the time I, the person I was when I got there with my money, by the time I left, I was so different. Right. That teaches I was you. Like arguing with the cab driver, it was like a whole new person. <laughs> yeah. Right. The, this is good when you travel. You learn new techniques, right? New. Yeah. Uh, new yeah. Way. Mm -hmm. Muy importante. Muy importante. Ah, so. A ladrón, that means the robber. So, también puede haber un segundo ladrón. So, um, do you think that, can it be that he, or do you think that he can, he knows the second robber? Yeah, también, that means as well, also. Huh? Okay. Also. Puede, puede haber, it could be a second yeah. robber. It could be a second robber. Puede haber, huh? That's cool. It could, be, it could be a second robber. Too. Yeah. Okay. That's That's it, huh? And then, Alicia, claro, alguien que tal vez no oyó en la tienda. No uh, soy yo. So, um, no soy yo means, that he, that, you know, también, like maybe he just overheard us when we were talking at the shop. Yeah. Oh. Maybe someone overheard maybe us. Maybe someone overheard shop. us at the shop. Right? Do, do that, does that make sense now? Do you want to read the sentence again? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, someone, yeah, someone maybe overheard us at the shop. At voilà. The shop. Perfecto, ¿eh? And then, Nuria, ¿alguien? ¿Cómo es misterioso hombre del sombrero? ¿eh? Donc, ¿alguien? What does it mean again? It Some, means, someone. Uh, someone. Someone. Um, with, someone with the... Um, with a mystery. Someone with, with, with the mysterious man, man with the sombrero. With the sombrero. With the hat, yes. So, so is it someone with the, the mysterious hat. man with the sombrero? Yeah, and sombrero, like that's what they call it, but it's the equivalent of hat. Huh? It doesn't look like a sombrero. It doesn't look like a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm picturing a guy with a giant sombrero. sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like the, it's like they're totally, totally out of character, right? It's like. Yeah. <laughs> like it's How could you miss them? How could you miss them? With the tassels. Yeah. <laughs> So just here for the vocab, right? Just to review, do you want to read them one after another one? Yes. Los churros. Los churros. And you know where to go, mm. huh? Cafe, write it in your book. I'm Cafe de Opera in Barcelona. Cafe. De, 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 and then L'Opera. It's like it's, it's written in French, but and that's they were still open during the war time. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Cafe de Lupe. Cafe de Lupe. Cafe de L'Opera. L-O-P-E-R-A, like the opera, right? Yes. Claro. Gracias. Sí, claro. So, los churros, y después? 
uh, in the moment, you will say, Oh, oh inseguida. 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 Hello, this is the trickster. Inseguida. In a moment. Perfecto. 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 And then to be worse is valer. Huh? Valer. Right. So that's the value, right? That we look. And then to hear is oir. 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 Can, he, oir. can you say it? Oir. Si, sí, perfecto. Oh, yeah. uh, that's why it's to hear. Nos, is that the same? Nos, oh, yeah. oh, no, it's up here. El oir. No, no, you write. No, so you in, in La Tienda, you write. Kim. Okay. They, they overdose, they heard it. Us. Overheard. Okay. So okay. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then um, so then discu discubrir, huh? To discover. 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 So you how would you say, oh, I love to discover new countries or I love to discover new music or whatever? Um me yeah. encantada. No. Me encanta. Me encanta. Uh this this and then what say what you'd like to discover so for example i could say oh me, me encanta descubrir um el uh, o las pinturas de de este uh, artista huh? okay. uh, um me, enca me encanta encantada me encanta when you what you're talking it's it's good man can it's just you talking in the past but we want oh, to be that's, in the present that's, that's all so me and kata or me gusto what about this one or, or me, me gustaria me gustaria this that's it you can use cc okay. me guess me gustaria uh descubrir um, what discover where whatever whatever, whatever you want to discover um uh, Hmm. And I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what uh, you want to say. Los Montanas. Las Montañas. Sí, Las Montañas. Las Montañas. Sí, que son muy, muy preciosas. ¿eh? Sí, muy preciosas. Sí. Y um, Kenny, ¿qué uh, eh, descubrí? Eh, en, encantada. Me encanta. Me encantaría. <laughs> 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 Which one do you want? Me encantaría or me gusto? Stick with one, you know. Uh, let's do me gusto. Me, me gusto. gusto uh, descubrir. Um, how do you say places again? Ah, lugares. 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 L-U-G-A-R-E-S. Lugares. Sí, claro. Oh, and guys, you remember. Um, oh, sí. Uh, nuevo, nuevo lugares. Si, sí, nuevo, ¿sí? you want to nuevo, put it in the plural nuevo, as well. Mm -hmm. So one more time, can you say it one more time, Kenny, that sentence? Me gusta descubrir nuevos lugares. Me gusta, yeah, si, sí, me gusta, me gusta, lo siento, me gusta, me gusta. So would I say me, me gusta or me gustaría? Me gustaría o me gusta. Whoa. Okay, means okay. Like which one? Which one? Like oh, so ones I like to discover, and the other ones I'd like to. I'd like to exactly. So yeah. whichever floats the boat best for you, right? And then can you say the sentence you said on that one again? Kim? Me gustaría discover. I'm trying not to look. Descubrir. Okay. Me, me gustaría descubrir las montañas. Las montañas, huh? Perfecto. Montana. Okay, cool. Let's just go back to the book. It's just like a little, um, you know, for you, communication as well. So Alicia, then she says, ba ba ba, and then yeah, we finished on that one. I'm descubrir, and then there could be puede, Pu puede haber, and and that was in the sentence Nuria, right? When she said yeah. también puede yeah. haber un segundo ladrón, right? They could be. A oh yes, right here. También puede haber. Uh, do you, yeah, you located yeah. it. Un segundo ladrón. Ladrón. Yeah, you got it. You nailed it. So, yeah, there could be a second. There could be a second robber, too. It could be, exactly. Huh? So, here, what do you think you could... Um, I would like you to extract just the sentences that will help you for your travel. 
about just that little uh, capitulo on say. So mm -hmm. I think you should just maybe um, cycle the second line, just yo quiero un café con leche, right? That's how you will ask for something. Mm -hmm. Um, that one I know, that one I use. <laughs> okay, perfecto. And that's important. So he, right now, let's just pretend that we're in the place. What would you like to order? Mm. We'll just do that before the end of the class. Yeah. Uh, me gustaría café con leche, por favor. Perfecto, sí, claro. Para servirle, huh? they will say, to for your service, para servirle. Oh, yes, para servirle. Uh, and then, Kenny, what would you like to order? Um... Me gustaría uh, dos huevos. Uh, huevos. Huevos con pan. Con pan, perfecto, sí. Sí, oh, yeah. sí, señor. Perfecto. Okay, and then, so perfecto, maybe you want to, like, tell me the ones that you want to keep in this dialogue that you can use. Um, we've been writing them down, uh, but just words, let's see. Uh, what can we use like together? Skipian sas, right? I will I will but advise you to learn before that yo quiero is it's not really oh yeah, on the quiz that we yes. say uh me, me gustaria is nice. more polite. More, more polite, polite than saying me yo quiero. Yeah, so you say yo quiero if but you, you could say yo quiero and you still be like people, you know, you will be polite still, but okay. I'm like, that's so like, yeah. <laughs> but less, less formal, that's all. Yeah. They won't throw chat class at you if you say that. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so keep sas, right? Keep mm -hmm. sas. Si. And then, so can you make a sentence each with keep sas? Would it? Um, yes. Uh, Piensas, ¿Qué piensas? Piensas que, or ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? Do you want to put the, do you remember we put the caption last time and then you could see in Spanish? Oh. That could be helpful. Because caption, you see. And then, a, and then you pick Spanish, right, from Mexi Mexico, right? Sí. Sí. Is right. it, I don't see it all there, do you? Um, no, it's not showing, but it says there, um, it's been a little no funciona. Uh, sí, sí. It's working sí. now. Okay, perfecto. Uh, so, ¿qué piensas? Uh, ¿Qué piensas? De, huh? you could say. It's always ¿qué piensas? And de. And then you will just say what you want to ask. ¿Qué, piens ¿Qué piensas de? Um, so that's like what's going on. What do you think, of, what do you think about? <laughs> Okay, so I thought that was piensas K. So K piensas is what do you it's think? It's the same. It's the same. It's oh. just the reverse when we ask a question. Okay. In yeah, that's why. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's uh okay, so K piensas de um <laughs> de las montañas, you could ask. Las montañas. Uh-huh. Or what else would you like to say? Uh K piensas. Uh, Long Beach, de Long okay. Beach. Perfecto. ¿Qué piensas de Long Beach? Huh? ¿Qué piensas de baseball? De baseball, sí. Huh? Or another way could be te gusta, te gusta, te gusta Long Beach, te gusta volleyball. Okay, sí. huh? Do you like, sí. yeah. Um, or you can, so you could also say, um, que, can you say, ¿qué crees? ¿Qué crees tú? What do you, what do you think? What do you believe? Okay, what do you think? Okay, que crees tú? Que crees tú, huh? Okay, so this is perfecto. And then uh, let's, uh, oh, this one is, is kind of good. I will put it in your little uh, top 50 words. Puede ser. It's Alicia. It's kind of in the middle. Oh, yeah, puede ser. That could be, right? It could be. It could be. It could be. Puede ser. Mm -hmm. Puede ser. It could be. Piensas que... Right. And then también, that's an important one. That's the beginning of a new yeah. next sentence. También, do you remember what it means? Also. Like, also. Also. Huh? Okay. Um, yes. For example, you know, anything, if they say, oh, uh, would you like something? You say también. también. Yes, también. Okay. And you don't say like, yo, también. You just no. say just Exactly. Tambien. I'm glad you asked that. Yeah, you skip that, yo, just también. Right? And then, of course, this one is the super, super Mexican uh, icebreaker, claro, 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 claro. 
Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. I hear that all the time, even in LA. <laughs> oh yeah, e exactly. Huh? This one is good. And you can practice. And the beauty here is like you can practice your Spanish, you know? Sí, sí. Es, es, es un, un buen lugar, no? Pero hay dos tipos de... Let's see if you understand what I said. Just we'll finish with uh, comprehension listening. Mm -hmm. Hay dos personas no, que son diferentes de los mexicanos aquí en Los Ángeles. La cosa es, es que... Son, hay personas que son muy uh, amables y cuando tú le hablas en español, le encantan, ¿no? Y son muy amables. Pero hay otras mexicanos o mexicanas, un poquito más joven, y te, no le gustan. No, no, no. Es como, háblame en inglés, ¿no? Because, porque... Yes, um, so, hay los dos. Aquí, para mí, mi experiencia de aquí, ¿no? Pero es mi experiencia. No sé, no sé para ustedes. So, what did, what did they... You, <laughs> said, you said that um, you feel like, I think this is what you said, but you felt like the older community, the older Mexican community in Los Angeles likes to speak in Spanish, but the younger... Mexican community here does not. They prefer English. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if it's what you know ties to. You, you'll see, but try, try to use it because it's uh, it's good for you. I've always wondered, um, because I was really hyped when we first started taking the Spanish class that I wanted to try. But I was like, like even with our neighbor who was like, I hear him talking Spanish to other people, but I was like, I don't know, he might laugh at me. <laughs> No, you do. No, you do it when you go to the restaurants in Long Beach, like any Mexican restaurant. This this sound they really like it. We used to go one on Broadway. It's a little one, but it's very good. On oh, Broadway. Oh, we could even tell That's them. Serious. We can say we're studying. So no, nosotros estudiamos español. Sí, por favor, puedo hablar español con usted o con tú. Ah, puedo. Can you say that? Puedo hablar español. Puedo hablar español puedo, puedo con, hablar. con usted. Con usted. Huh? That's the most polite. Huh? Okay. Okay. And if it's somebody that's younger than you, then you can say con tú. And you can say what? Hello. You can okay. use the informal con tú. Con when the person is younger. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Puedo hablar. Okay, guys. Well, this is great. Thanks. I'm glad we could catch up. Yeah, thank you, you for the thank extra, you so much. Extra yes, yes, not a problem. And then we'll put in the calendar in about two, three weeks uh, that we meet at the Fuego. Sí. So we can see. Sí. Huh? So yes. avisa, avisa me cuando es un buen, uh, cuando puedes, no? Cuando pueden. Um, Tell me when you'll be able to, like you can, you know, in two, three weeks. And then. Perfect. See? Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Ok, que le, que le vaya bien y um, buena semana, ¿no? Uh, sí. Bueno. Bueno. Sí. Bueno. You too. Ah, you, uh, <laughs> tú también. Tú también. Tú también. Tú también. Ok, nos vemos. ¿eh? Hasta luego. We're, we're meeting on Friday too, right? We That's are, yes. Um, at 8.30. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. Hasta luego. Adiós. Hasta luego.